Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Arrival. Arrival enters into New Deal to secure bridge financing. So it's been quite some time since we've had an update from Arrival. The last time I spoke about Arrival, I probably spoke about the merger. They were going through another SPAC merger. And this company, if I'm not mistaken, has been through two SPAC mergers. That's quite an unusual thing, but it's starting to become more and more popular. Arrival is in active negotiation with a strategic finance partner. An affiliate of strategic finance partner will provide Arrival secure bridge financing, which is additional, additional capital to help recover this business. So this could actually turn out to be good. I wonder which company it will be. Initially, I got really excited because I was like, finally, a big company is about to acquire a rival, probably Tesla, unlikely, maybe VW, maybe Mercedes, maybe BMW, but someone should acquire this company. On August 22nd, Arrival, the creator of the innovative EV production mythology, entered into an active dealing with a strategic finance partner concerning a likely transaction for which terms and structures are contingent upon due diligence finishes. To ensure the completion of the due diligence and agreement of potential deal, the strategic finance partner, through one of the affiliates, has put forth a term loan facility secured by certain operating subsidiaries, primary assets. The company has used $5 million under the loan already. An additional $15 million may become available with lenders. Consent or if a rival receives an additional cash offer on customary certain funds basis from an independent third party to purchase a rival group assets will also provide sufficient net cash proceeds to pay off all amounts owed under the facility. The arrival group is availing of this facility for a three month duration until November the 20th, 2023 termination date. All funds from this agreement are intended to serve cash flow and working capital needs. Should the facility be canceled, paid off ahead of time or otherwise accelerated, a 1.2x make whole premium must be paid in full with all outstanding loans and commitments being settled at the same time. Wow, this is, uh, this is quite a lot. This is quite a lot. So it's essentially additional money for operations of the company, which would be good because the rival is switched focus to the U.S. It's quite a big move, to be honest, and they've now fully focused on the delivery van, which I think it's a, it's a good direction to go in. We've seen the Amazon uh, Rivian delivery vans out on the USA roads. I've seen videos. Those seem to be up and running, making a lot of deliveries. So it's clearly possible. It's clearly a market space in which there's a lot more need from consumers, from um, companies that run these big logistical companies. More on the merger, the merger th that took place recently. Arrival is merged with Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp. After the completion of the combination, its common stock became listed on NASDAQ with ARVL ticker symbol. The company's new Class 4 XL van is designed to bring a superior user experience and lower cost for commercial operators in the U.S. last mile delivery sector. Additionally, Kensington has provided $283 million of cash held in trusts that shall be put to the use in the combined entity. So these are all in recent months. During this year, Arrival has actually been accumulating a lot of fund to put towards the company use, which is good. Manufacturing of these vehicles is quite essential for the U.S. market. As you can see, they're very long, meant to hold a lot of space, meant to do a lot of delivery. I think this is a great direction for Arrival, but I think they will still need funding as time goes on because manufacturing these vehicles will not be easy. They're using a completely new strategy, which is micro manufacturing in their micro factories like a self-assembled factory. It's vastly different from what the rest of the market is doing. They're using assembly lines. Arrival is using robots, micro factories to manufacture their vehicles. It's vastly different. It's never been done. So it's a highly risky business. So Arrival is looking to transform the class four EV sector with its XL van that is designed particularly to meet the profitability last mile delivery market which Arrival opines is independently served by major OEMs presently. 
the company applies its own hardware components, robotic technology, and lasting composite material to generate cars that are tailored for city and regions they help serve. In early 2023, Arrival kept on creating certified L vans at the Bicester factory in the UK. However, that has since transformed. That has since changed. They're now focusing on the US market. And I believe they're now focusing on manufacturing in the US market. So let me know, do you think Revival should continue with this strategy? You know, they seem quite determined to continue with this strategy. And to be honest, you know, the thing about this company is that it had a good start. Great idea of what a company it could be. And as the company started to accomplish more, it started to get itself into a lot of problem with financing because it's so expensive to run a company like this. And that's what's primarily holding Arrival back. But I remember a time when Arrival was doing a lot of great positive things. I've made quite a few different videos on the Arrival company. I wrote a few articles on the company. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that Arrival has been getting the van certified. They've been getting the bus certified. Of course, they're not focusing on the bus anymore. They're primarily focusing on the van. They even design uh, a Uber taxi car. Basically, this is in partnership with Uber, specifically designed for the idea of what Uber drivers would like to drive. And it's like a ride hailing ride hailing car. I think it's very nice. I think it's a great idea from from Arrival. I just think a company like this needs better leadership and more funding. It is clear that they have something special. Some of my oldest videos were on Arrival. My first video was actually on Canoe. I need to talk a little bit more about Canoe and just catch up with what's been going on. Canoe is another company that needs a lot of help, a lot of diff a lot of additional financing and a, a better leadership, I would say. I want to continue making videos on Arrival. I hope that this company does get better leadership, you know, more funding. It is something that is quite necessarily quite crucial. Now, the Arrival share history used to look vastly different. However, since the since the SPAC merger, the new SPAC merger, things have changed. Obviously, as you can see right now, this company, the market cap is just around 25 million. That's how cheap this company is. Honestly, Mercedes could buy this company for nothing. BMW, Volkswagen, anyone could buy this company for nothing. Polestar, Volvo could buy this company for nothing, please someone buy this company i want to see this company do well but i think they need a leadership like volvo like the kind of leadership that volvo has with polestar and geely they need something like that and honestly this is probably one of the easiest company ev company on the market to do a hostile takeover with because it is so cheap you could buy this company within a day just a a straight up hostile takeover bear in mind not not everyone likes to do a hostile takeover it's kind of in the name. It's not, this is not really like an agreement. It's more like, oh, your company is public. Well, that means I can buy it whenever I want as long as I have the money. That's the risk of being a public company is that people could just buy your company like that and kick you out the front door. Hey, it's my company now. I bought the shares. So yeah, it's just around 30 million in market cap, 25 to 30 million in market cap. That is wild. You know, there's other companies that are cheap as well, but nobody wants Lordstown Motors. No one wants that. Seriously, out of all these companies, even Mullen, I'm not even sure about Mullen, if I'm being completely honest, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not even too sure about Mullen. Mullen is just around 100 million in market cap. Canoe is around 400 million in market cap. That's quite surprising because Canoe hasn't been doing particularly well either. But you can see how these companies are so cheap to buy so in the bottom 10 of evs in the world arrival is the instant standout and fisker is bringing their fiscal ocean to the market in 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 november these vehicles are being developed in europe so i think it's in austria by a private developer so wow fisker is at least doing what is necessary however canoe and arrival I don't see them doing enough, and that could be a lack of a funding, to be honest. And the Fisker CEO has a lot more experience in starting a company and, and getting it where it's supposed to be because this is not the first Fisker company. And the Fisker CEO, he used to work for Tesla. Ah, that's a long story. That's a long story. Now, we look at other companies in the top 10 EV companies in the world in terms of market cap. You're looking at Polestar, that's number nine, at 8 billion. 
Faraday Futures at 12 billion. I don't know what Faraday Futures doing there. Are they even delivering anything? Seriously. Lucid, I understand Lucid. Um, still overvalue, but Lucid makes more sense. Got Xbang, Neo, Rivian, Lee Auto, and VinFast is quite new on the, on the stocks and shares market. They're not new in terms of making EVs. I think they've been doing it for a few years now, but for the stocks and share market, they're a bit new. No signs of BYD. So I'm guessing BYD is probably not a full EV company, right? Because if they were a full EV company, they would be on this list, but they're not on this list. As far as I can see, I don't see BYD anywhere on this list, but they should be because they're a well-known EV manufacturer, especially in China. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and of course, I'll see you in our next video.